Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, just wanted to do a quick video of how to fix the camera here on your uh, Silverado or Sierra or other uh, GMs that have this uh, backup camera here. Uh, I think it's 2007 uh, up to 14. Um, but if you look on the back here, uh, this is your license plate. So just uh, remove your license plate. And then um, these two connectors here, uh, one of them is not used. I'm not sure what this one is for right here, but um, this top connector here is your, uh, your lead connector for your backup camera. So I just removed uh, this connector right here and if you just look on the top, you just press that release clip down um, and then you can pull this out uh, just kind of gently. And then all I did was um, I used some electrical cleaner um, to clean the inside of the connectors. Um, and then I put a little bit of um, lubricant on the outside of the connector just so it could slip on a little bit easier because... I did notice that uh, when I was connecting it, um, it was very, very hard to push them both together. And what you want to hear is the click. So um, I think it was just a, a loose connection here um, because my camera was kind of going in and out and I was getting the blinking um, on the rear view camera, um, which means that the audio video um, has a weak signal. So. I think uh, this connection here was the issue um, because I just, uh, again, I took this off, um, cleaned the, uh, the inside of the connector, um, and then I just pushed them back uh, really tight until I heard the click, um, and now my camera um, is working. Also, if you look underneath here uh, where my hand is, there's two wires, and that is where the wire, the wiring um, runs and if if that if those two uh, wires or if one of them is pinched um, in between the tailgate here um, that could also cause an issue so you want to make sure that your uh, your wires are not pinched um, underneath here uh, between the tailgate because you know you're if you're using your tailgate every day like I am um, you know you could easily pinch a wire in there so just look underneath You'll see the two wires that I'm talking about. Just make sure that they're not pinched. Uh, make sure they're secure and, and in good condition. You know, make sure they're not frayed or cut. Um, and then just go ahead and uh, remove this um, top connector here. Um, clean it out. Um, I just recommend some like uh, electrical cleaner. Um, and then uh, push them back together until you hear um, the click. So you know they're nice and snug. Um, and then test your uh, rear view camera. Um, if that doesn't fix it, um, then it could be the fuses. Um, there are a couple of fuses, uh, I believe, on the, uh, on the fender side underneath the wheel well. Um, so check your fuses, make sure um, that those are good. Um, so if your fuses are good and your, um, your, your connection is good right here, what I just showed you, um, then at that point, you might want to go ahead and just replace this whole bezel right here. Um, they sell them new. It comes with the camera. It comes with the bezel. It also comes with the handle. Um, you can get the whole thing on eBay for like $100. Um, so you can try that. Um, otherwise, uh, you know, they do sell aftermarket um, backup cameras that just mount um, over on top of the original camera um, that you have, uh, you know, on the rear view mirror. Um, so that's also an option. I've seen those pretty cheap on Amazon, but um, yeah, just check your fuses and then um, check this uh, electrical connector here. Um, if that doesn't work, um, you can try uh, buying this whole unit, uh, this new unit right here. Um, but anyway, I, I hope this helps somebody. Um, because uh, this apparently fixed my issue, and that was just by um, reconnecting this connector and, and making sure that it had a good seat and a, and a good connection. So, all right, good luck, you guys. Bye.